This is my disused factory plus fish and chip shop that I've been renting to ferment some varieties of vinegars and kombuchas. Over here is a couple of chai combinations with different honeys and some with dandelion, green teas, chamomile. Chamomile here is not very clear but it might change with time because I'm going to push them through to a vinegar stage. Gives them longer shelf life and you can still do other things. This is the one I did with the photos, still photos of the lavender and lemon but I decanted it off because before I moved it I wanted to get some of that beautiful clear liquid. As you can see this one here is lovely and clear but I'll lose that when I move it and it'll take weeks to settle. Different ranges of nettle, those three, with other things. This is a fruit salad. That had a lot of pulp and had to strain that. The four across the top here are turning into red wine vinegars from red wine that doesn't seem to be overly saleable for some reason. And someone's got a stockpile. This one used cucumber and Granny Smith apple. Nothing seems to work very well fermenting with Granny Smith apple for me, but it cooks up beautifully. This is a lavender combined with pure apple juice. Haven't tasted that yet. And of course we've got these beautiful big jars with uh, strawberry clover and honey and yummy yummy blueberry with apple and different quince vinegars there, manukas. Over here is a delicious honey, lemon and ginger. Outstanding, this one. Everybody likes it. Once it goes through to vinegar, but it's pretty strong. And this one here is a cherry lemon. Um, my main aim has been to get as much nutrition into these food products as possible. So you can use them as salad dressings. Um, also apparently on ice creams, deglazing pans, or just put a small amount into a drink bottle. Because often vinegars, other than the magnificent, many years fermented balsamics, for example, a lot of vinegars are just boiled up with some fruit. And I just wanted to do something a little bit more nutritious than that and not just put the fruit in an already produced vinegar ferment all the products in together and get as much goodness as possible and let them have some kind of dance together of flavours and colour and nutrition. And there's a few that haven't been very nice, but overall, wonderful. Now that's just a, a young scoby on there because I decanted it. You can see the depth of colour in that. Um, that was apple with violas and I couldn't resist putting a few pansies on the top when I decanted out some of the thick things. Mixtures with raspberries and cinnamon sticks, uh, just water, good quality water, lemons, apples, and then back to your kombuchas with your different teas. So um, that's about all for now.